I'd like to begin by saying that uh, orthodoxy uh, is essentially simply Christianity in its uh, original form. We often forget that for a period of a, roughly a thousand years, uh, with some small exceptions, there was only one Christian church throughout the whole world, from uh, these British Isles in the north uh, to the Middle East and even beyond. In the 11th century, there took place this uh, tragic event, which we call the Great Schism, when the Christianity in the West, the uh, Roman Church, uh, was separated from the Eastern Churches for a variety of reasons. And later on in the West, uh, another cataclysmic event, uh, the Protestant Reformation, uh, which led to the creation of very many uh, uh, confessions. But uh, orthodoxy is that uh, original Christianity, which has uh, survived uh, through that whole period without uh, essential change. The Orthodox faith as it's professed today is the same as in the apostolic times. Of course, things change in an outward manner, and when people first come to the church, they tend to notice the uh, things that are most visible. Uh, so, for example, uh, a, a Protestant uh, person from a Protestant background visiting an Orthodox church will be struck by the, uh, the richness of the worship, the uh, many icons, the, the singing, the use of incense, uh, a very uh, clear ritual element, uh, which will be something uh, novel uh, to them. Somebody coming from a Roman Catholic background will be a bit more familiar with that and may think that, well, actually there's not uh, such a lot of uh, difference. It's only when you become, uh, begin to go more deeply uh, into it, to begin to experience, to begin to live it, to begin to practice it uh, yourself, that you uh, understand that actually the, the differences go quite uh, deep. I think uh, one of the most uh, important uh, differences that becomes increasingly clear is that uh, worship in the Orthodox Christian tradition is uh, God-centered, God-directed. We stand in the church, we pray and we worship the living God. Uh, sometimes uh, in uh, other places, one feels that uh, everything has become centered on us. You know? It's about us, it's about our lives, our relationships, our feelings. Uh, and, for example, personally I come from a Roman Catholic background. And I remember, and this is going back uh, more than 50 years, the priest said the Mass, he was basically facing the same way as the people, to the East, which means symbolically towards God, towards the Kingdom of God. And then there was this great uh, reform of the Second Vatican Council, and suddenly the priest is turned round, we are facing each other, and it becomes somehow man-centred. I think that's an important difference, one of them. Even uh, the name Orthodox Church, Orthodox Christianity, Orthodoxy, uh, can be understood in uh, two ways which are complementary. Uh, Orthodox means that which is uh, true, the true teaching about God, in the given case. Uh, 
as distinguished from what is called uh, heterodoxy, which is some other teaching. But it also means uh, the true worship, the authentic worship. And this is equally important, because in orthodoxy, uh, doctrine and worship are essentially two sides of the same coin. They aren't separated. What we believe uh, is expressed by how we worship. The uh, church building uh, has a very special role in orthodoxy, uh, as indeed in all uh, traditional uh, Christian confessions. It is a place uh, which is consecrated, that is to say, set aside uh, exclusively for the worship of God. It is a, a sacred place. God, of course, is everywhere. He is spirit, and there is no place in which we cannot pray to God. Uh, but for us, it's very necessary to have these special places dedicated uh, exclusively to that, blessed for that. Uh, and so when we enter the church, uh, it's important to be aware of that, that we are coming from the street, uh, from the world, uh, into a place which is holy, a place of the special presence of God. And so we do not just uh, walk in yeah, anyhow. Uh, we should pause on the threshold. Uh, Orthodox Christians make the sign of the cross. Uh, and then we should enter uh, quietly, reverently, uh, venerate the icons if the service is not uh, already going on, and we already uh, understand what that means. And then find a place where we can stand uh, quietly to pray, to participate in the service. This uh, feeling of reverence yeah, is something very important. And if we lose that, that's very sad. 